Hello friends, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in yesterday's video we have seen that what is Django and which company uses it and uh, why Django is beneficial to learn. So in today's video we are going to start with Django, we will install Django and we will create one project and one app using Django. Okay, so here I have created one folder Django underscore mini and i will open this folder and open with this folder in my vs code you can use any VS, any code editor you are comfortable with okay i'm comfortable with vs code so i will go with this code editor so let me zoom first okay now before installing django i will create virtual environment python hyphen m v e n v and e n v hit enter and your virtual environment should be ready our virtual environment has been created now i will activate it so source and we hit enter now we will install django using pip so pip install django sorry yeah Make sure your virtual environment is activated and you can verify it by having this name on top of your terminal line. Okay. And this is installing Django. Okay. So Django has been installed. Now I will clear my terminal and we have basically one command to create django project and that is django hyphen admin start project and our project name which is going to be a um, mini underscore project okay or let's say a blog website we will create blog website in this series and we will create one another website which we will decide later okay so blog underscore project and i will hit enter now as you can see if i i have done i have run this command and it has created this folder now we have two folder with same name blog underscore project and blog underscore project and for beginners it might be quite confusing okay so I have one solution for you like you can delete this folder okay you can create your folder as django underscore mini or blog underscore uh, project anything else I have uh, created folder as uh, django underscore mini okay and open that in vs on, on your in your code editor and perform same command but at this time you need to give a space and add the and press enter then the one folder will be removed parent folder will be removed and all those directory will be placed here all right now you can see django underscore project which has some files and this is manage.py file i will explain just in a bit okay now let's start with manage.py file here we are calling main function first in this main function we have given a path of the settings.py file which is located in blog underscore project and settings.py okay so here if we go in this settings.py then you can see this is our base directory folder path okay this is our secret key which is used while we are hosting the uh, we are hosting the application on server okay this is debug is equals to true why this is true and when we need to make it false i will explain once we start the tutorials this is installed underscore app okay if we install if we create any app then we need to register our app here this is all the middlewares our root con our root urls configuration urls.py file basically then this is our django template settings okay wsgi mm, database our database settings 
and our st uh, static file style. So this so this file contains all the settings required for our Django Django project. Okay, and I will come over urls.py file. Any URL you are making, like each and every page contains its own view in Django. Like you have home page, then we need to make our home view and we need to register that path here. Then only you will be able to, you know, access that path and see all the output on in your browser. Okay. Um, it might not make sense right now, but I am just telling you that we need to give path of all our views in this file only. Okay, so this this was our project. Okay, now we will make app using manage.py command. So I will clear this. Now first creating app, I I will explain. I will show you one thing that uh, if I type python and run manage file then you will see many commands okay and i will explain few commands from here this run servers command will start your will run your server collect static command will collect all the set static files like css javascript etc okay then this start app command is used to create your app okay then uh, we have make migration command a very important command like if we create any model then we need then we need to run this command and after this migrate command this migrate command basically writes all your changes okay and uh, this shell command is you um django free api and with this shell command we can play around with our query sets of Django. I will also show you this how we can do this okay so first we will start using this start app command so python manage.py start app and we need to give our application name which is going to be main if and I will hit enter as you can see it has created main folder and inside that we have many files okay we will see this one by one first we have admin.py file this file basically has the Mo uh, registration of our models and this will show in our admin panel if i have not told you in introduction uh, tutorial i will repeat this in uh, i will repeat this again that django by default gives us admin panel from where we can perform all the crud operations okay this is our apps folder sorry app files and this contains only app based settings this is models.py this is the file in which we will write all our database uh, mod, uh, queries this is test.py this file is basically used when we have a very large website and when we make some changes then it should run it should run some test cases this and this file is used for that this is views.py file in this file we will write all our views of our home page contact us page etc okay any page you have so this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and in next video we are going to start with our django views okay so thank you so much guys for watching this video and i will see you in next one thank you